Electric cars have a lot of advantages. The problem, range anxiety. The solution, we're gonna talk about it. But first, let's do a quick deep dive. Electric cars predate the light bulb. In 1830s, Robert Anderson, a Scottish inventor, actually created a crude electric vehicle. About 50 years later, the first practical internal combustion engine was created in 1885. Initially, electric cars were more common. The problem was lead acid batteries at the time really did not give you much distance. You couldn't go fast, you couldn't go far. Internal combustion engines actually became more popular, mostly due to what Henry Ford did with the Model T. They created an assembly line that made it much more efficient to create components that were more complex and do it repetitively. The Model T was built from 1908 to 1927 and sold over 15 million units. Jumping to the 1960s, we see the space race. When America went to the moon, we actually brought a lunar rover that was powered by electric. These batteries were not rechargeable, but had a range of 57 miles. The simplicity of an electric motor is a big part of why that happened. Again, talking about the complexity of internal combustion engines, part of the design challenge for internal combustion engines is you have to deal with heat and exhaust. These systems become very complex. In an electric vehicle, you just pair a motor with a battery. According to a study by the Department of Energy, only 13% efficiency is noticed in urban situations versus 20% when driving a vehicle that is using an internal combustion engine. 6%, or almost half of the efficiency, is actually due to braking. Toyota introduced the Prius in Japan in 1997 and then worldwide in 2000. It combined an internal combustion engine with an electric motor to allow the electric motor to help with the acceleration and on deceleration, or braking, to reverse polarity and recharge the batteries. This improved efficiency significantly. Well, problem solved, right? The difference is substantial. You went from 16 to 25% efficiency to 24 to 38% efficiency with a hybrid vehicle. But here's the thing, electric vehicles actually get 87 to 91% efficiency. It's different. When comparing gas to a modern lithium ion battery, gas has almost 150 times power density compared to the battery. And now the possible solution, range extended vehicles. Think about when you go on vacation and you take your phone, you usually bring an external battery with it and charge it as you're on the go, taking photos and doing whatever you're doing. The concept is similar. For daily usage, you don't need an ba external battery. You can just charge it at home, run the car, you're fine. But what if you're towing a boat? What if you're going a long distance? Having a gas generator that trickle charges your electric vehicle helps. The drivetrain is completely electric. There is no connection between the internal combustion engine and the drivetrain. This allows it to run at peak efficiency. It just trickle charges the battery and keeps it going if you want it to. You don't have to run it, you can run it. You get the best of both worlds. You can go for hundreds of miles in driving or you could just do your daily driver on pure electric. This is a unique solution to a problem that I think Stellantis and Ram really are doing something kind of cool with. We'll see if it works out. First generation vehicles usually have problems, but I think the industry in general is looking at this very closely. I'm Mike, so glad to be kicking this channel off. If you wanna be a part of this, consider joining the Patreon. Thank you so much to my friends, family, first colleagues, etc., for just all the inspiration to actually kick this off. Um, we're gonna have a lot of fun going forward, guys. Looking forward to seeing more of you.